We're getting new video tonight from an evening of severe weather hitting the wire grass. A tornado touching down this evening in Geneva County. The twister caught on camera by storm chasers. This video comes to us from Michael Gordon. He captured it about a mile from the center of Hartford along County Road 36 about 508 this evening. The initial tornado warning went out just after five and lasted almost an hour. Luckily, the tornado touched down in a very remote, unpopulated area. From a week of piece together tonight, it looks like this twister may have been on the ground for around 10 minutes in total. And we're getting another view of the tornado from Ricardo Castellanos tonight. This was taken from the High Bluff area looking south toward Hartford at about 512 this evening. WDHM was on air at that time, bringing you live continuous weather coverage for almost an hour as tornado warnings were issued for Geneva, Dale Henry and Houston counties. The Houston County EMA director says a sheriff's deputy also reported seeing a tornado touching down briefly in either Houston County's Panhandle or Eastern Geneva County. And on the backside of that tornado, a line of heavy showers making its way into the wiregrass tonight. Heavy rain seen here pelting eastern Eastern Houston County around 730. WDHN Chief Meteorologist Matthew Wine has been tracking all the storms this evening and joins us with a closer look at their impact. Matthew. Yeah, it's really good news that the storms are well to the east of us now. In fact, they're not even severe anymore. It's just some regular old rain, but they were severe earlier today. And let's take a look at what we had going down here in the wiregrass. As the storms roll through, you see a lot of colorful boxes there in Geneva County, Houston, Dale, also Henry County, as Michael was talking about. It started off as just a severe thunderstorm warning with a tornado possible tag. Then it was tornado warned. And just a few minutes after being tornado warned, you see that purple box pop up. And that is a confirmed tornado warning from our Barron system saying that we see based on radar that that tornado is on the ground. We also had spotter confirmation out there in the field from the folks that sent us in those videos, and we appreciate you guys sending those in. Again, the storm started in Geneva, moved through Houston into Dale and eventually Henry County, but it fizzled out pretty quick. In fact, it was probably only on the ground for about five to 10 minutes at the most. And we explained this during the live coverage, but for those that may have missed it, I want to break it down for you one more time. This is how we detect a tornado based on radar. We look at the structure of the storm using reflectivity and rain here. Here's the heavy rain. Here's it wrapping around and here are winds pushing in. This is a loss of reflectivity here. So that's a what we call BWER. So that's an area of winds going into the storm. Here are the winds coming around the storm, bringing that heavy rain around the backside. And I've circled a portion here that's the hook echo. Now, we also look at the winds of the storm, not just the structure, but the winds. Velocity here, you can see red and green very close to each other. It's what we call a velocity couplet. And then we take a look at the debris, debris signature. And you can see that there is a loss of correlation values here meaning that things that are in the air aren't all quite the same size. Most likely, this was a weak tornado that was lifting up some very small items like some leaves or maybe some grass or hay that has been recently cut into the air. Doesn't seem like we had a lot of damage. Let's take a look at one of those videos and you can see it's a very small tornado here and I may have to step to the other side for you. There you go. It's a very small tornado, very weak in nature. It doesn't look like a big condensation funnel. It's just thin and it wasn't like I said on the ground for too long. So not just did we have a tornado here, but we also had quite a bit of heavy rain across the area. And again, we couldn't be more thankful to get this video in for us. The heavy rainfall totals from just this storm alone. And let's take another look at links one here where we had a big swath of heavy rain stretching from Geneva County all the way into Houston, Henry, Dale County, all getting anywhere from about an inch and a half to two and a half inches just from that storm alone. The rest of the area about a half inch to an inch at most.